How's it going? Jacob Tewunner here, owner of Outreach Gurus. I help digital agency owners get more meetings and close more deals so that they can focus on more important aspects of their business. A ton of content on this channel about how to do B2B sales with cold email, close more deals. So go ahead and subscribe if you're new. But uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about how to generate leads with LinkedIn Sales Navigator in 2020 for your business, no matter what industry you're in. Uh, but I'm going to be sticking to uh, selling SEO to uh, lawyers, medium-sized law offices, small to medium-sized businesses in the United States using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, I would not recommend doing the outreach via LinkedIn because it's full of spammers and everyone who is on LinkedIn gets hit up every single day with like 20 people saying, um, you know, like, hey, can I offer you this? Can I offer you that? Are you interested? And I'm just, and then, you know, when you look, log into LinkedIn, you're just like, fuck off already. Just leave me alone, right? So you don't, you don't want to go into that pool of people just with robots spamming people all the time. However, that does not mean that LinkedIn is not a good way to find them and then contact them via other means and other methods, which I'm going to show you in this video. Um, it is a premium tool. It's about 65 bucks a month. The first month is free, but it pays for itself. So that being said, we're going to hop in and we're going to click advanced search and go to search for leads. By the way, my face isn't actually red. It's just the light above me. It's like a weird, it's like got a weird lampshade on it. So sorry about that, but um, search for leads. So what you're going to do here is enter in your specific target audience. So this is super important. You need to know who you're selling to. Um, it It's not, and you need to know the niche, the role, the size of the company, um, everything. And just so you know, SaaS is not a niche. Uh, startups is not a niche. Neither is um, restaurants. You got to get super specific. Um, so in this case, we're going to be selling SEO services to, um, I'll, I'll do family lawyers between one and 10 people in the organization in the United States. So we're going to do family law lawyer family law. We're going to do, um, let's see here, industry. I'm going to say law practice and legal services. Geography, we're only selling in the United States. You can see there's a ton of cool, what is going on here? I don't know why that was happening, but there's a ton of cool filters that you can use to get really granular with your outreach. Uh, seniority level, seniority level, we're going to go out to the owners if you're reaching out to a huge firm, normally you're going to be talking to the director of marketing, but with smaller companies that have one to 10 people, the owner is usually the person who's the, who's the decision maker. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything I'm going to do for this search. One to 10 people, we're talking to the owner in the United States who practiced family law in specific. We've got almost 9,000 results here. Um, so at this point, you pretty much just go through and you pick different people that look like they match your criteria. And, um, you add them to your list. So I'm going to open up her profile. Uh, you want to make sure that they're actually qualified and need SEO services. So I'm going to go ahead and open up her website right here. Looks like it's nice. Looks like it, it has some uh, stuff going on here. Could be improved for sure. But since I'm selling SEO to this person in this example, I'm going to actually pop it into Ahrefs here. As you can see, I think I already did. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to run it again just to show you. So you can see they have some links, um, but the organic search traffic uh, is kind of acting pretty funny. They're not really getting that much traffic and that could definitely be improved as you can see. And if we go to their top pages, they're probably not ranking for, let's see what city they're in. Um, Fairfax, they're actually near me. I'm in uh, near DC. Um, but th let's see if they're ranking for anything Fairfax related. I'm going to exclude their brand name from this search. This, this is Ahrefs. So it shows you, um, the top pages the site's ranking for. You can see they're not pulling in any traffic related to Fairfax at all. Family Law Fairfax VA, position 17. So they actually could be getting way more traffic if they're ranking a bit higher. So they're almost there. So this would be a great lead. So we're going to go over to our lead list here with the name website company. And you're going to just go ahead and copy and paste the website. The company is called Reese Law. And we're also going to contact the owner, which is Catherine, um, according to this family law attorney, owner, Reese Law. Family, okay, so um, this person looks like a great person to hit. We're going to go ahead and add her name, which is Catherine Reese, to this list. And we are going to... Uh, what, what, what you would do is you would keep going down this list and you would keep adding people. So... Um, I'll do one more person as an example, and then we're going to go ahead and actually find this person's email 
and I'll show you how to do that all at once with a, a really cool tool that will pretty much find their emails if they're on the web um, every single time. It's a really, really good tool. Um, looks like this is taking forever to load. She could definitely use some help with her site. I, I almost want to quit already. This is why fast websites are important. I'm, I'm impatient, so she's not going to be in the example. Losing out on some free press here. All 10 people who will watch this video. <laughs> um, if you're still watching this, shout out to you. Um, so we're going to check out this guy's site. There we go. It's loading much faster. Noletti Law Group. Um, interesting group of guys here. Um, <laughs> and a gal. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pop this into um, White Plains Divorce Lawyers. So we're going to go ahead and pop them into Ahrefs and see if they need our services. So it looks like they're getting a bit of traffic. Um, let's see if they're ranking for anything meaningful. If not, they're going to be a good target for SEO. And this is actually a pretty good keyword to be ranking for. Contested divorce, New York, high net worth. I'll say, um, I'm going to look at their organic keywords and search for New York. Whoops. And NY. And I'll do NYC. Um, looks like they're ranking decently for some of these keywords, but they're not really bringing in any, uh, they're not ranking for a New York divorce lawyer. Um, we're just going to pretend they need SEO help. This probably wouldn't be the best person to target because it looks like they already are ranking with their blog a bit, but we're going to go ahead and pop them in, pop them in anyway, just for the hell of it. Um, if you were actually doing lead gen, you probably want to stick to people who actually need your service. Um, but in this example, I just want to show you how you can find multiple email addresses at one time. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy's name in here too, James Noletti, and his company is uh, Noletti Law Group. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to actually split these names into a first and last name so that you can go ahead and use an email finder tool. So select the column with first and last names, go to add-ons. I already have this installed, it's called the split names. Just go to add-ons and this and click get add-ons right there. Sorry, let me show you. You click get add-ons and the two, the two tools you're gonna need for this are going to be split names, super, super useful, this one right here, and Hunter for Sheets. These are the two tools, they're both free. Actually, with Hunter, you need to have a paid license for it, but Hunter is like 50 bucks a month or something. It's super cheap and it's really, really, really valuable. So anyway, go to add-ons do um, split names, we're gonna start, make sure the column you have the names in is selected, and then do my column as a header, first, last name, split them. So that's gonna create two different columns with the first and the last name separated, so now we have everything we need to go ahead and find their emails on autopilot. So now you can hit add-ons, hunter for sheets, open, it's gonna open up a tab over here on the right side, you're gonna do email finder, so the column of the first name is going to be column uh, B, Column of the last name is going to be column C. Column of the domain name is D. And then we've got company name E. Um, and we're going to find email addresses. And as you can see here, we have two different email addresses for both of these people. We've got um, their personal address. We've got the confidence score. As long as it's above 80, I usually will go with it. But you can actually go ahead and you can take these and you can put them into a email verifier tool like um, Hunter.io has one. So does um, Voila Nurbert and a tool that's free to use for the first, I think, thousand emails called, um, wow, my, my site, my laptop is really slow. Another tool called Never Bounce. So you can go ahead and verify those emails. But now what you have is the full name, first name, last name, website, company, and email. So you got pretty much everything you need to start writing your first lines and start sending your uh, custom email pitches to these people. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you in the next video. Good luck with your LinkedIn prospecting in 2020 for uh, clients. Thanks. Bye.